Well, hello everybody. This is Saley. So my real name is Teresa. So I came up with Saley because the last two letters of my first name are S-A. And then my middle name is Lee, so just um, put them together. So I'm Saley. And um, I'm taking my break, well, my lunch break. So I have a little bit of time, but look how pretty it is outside today. This is out the window of my truck. It's just, um... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I sneezed. <laughs> so, we had um, an accident. I didn't, but um, one of my co-workers was going through an intersection at a, at a traffic light, and the other person um, ran the red light and T-boned him. Um, the, the, the vehicle, the mail truck, it um, like went on its side but went back up. Because in, in the back of our trucks we have these little puzzle pieces that are that are weighted. So, that, I mean, it kind of helped it from flipping all the way over. But um, he was seat belted, so yeah, his injuries aren't too severe, but it's very important. A lot of people just just want to wear the, the lap belt. And the lap belt, just think if you just have the lap belt on. Let me take it apart here. Let's see. So, if I just had the lap belt on. And then someone decides someone decides to hit me. So then my body flies this way. I've got this tray here in the middle. So my body flies this way, or I fly this way. I mean, it's just a little bitty lap belt. So it's real important to have this, this shoulder belt connected. And even though it might be a pain, you know, in the butt, when you're trying to deliver mail, curbside mailboxes or whatever. But for the most part, I mean, if you need to when you're delivering mail, your truck is stopped anyhow. So just quickly get out and lean out. It's not a big deal. Wearing your, wearing this is going to keep me, you know, especially in an impact, it'll lock. So then I won't go anywhere. But without it, I mean... He could have flown into this tray, this metal tray. And, like, oh, I, I, I can just imagine. I can just imagine. So, for me, I want not only to obey the rules, but I want to be safe. I want to go home to my family every single day. So, if you think about how many people have lost their lives because they didn't have a seatbelt on. And you, you have the argument, oh, well... What if you get trapped in the seatbelt? Or, well, I would say that the amount of lives saved by the seatbelt are a lot greater than the amount of lives lost by the seatbelt. The seatbelt's going to keep you in place. It's going to keep you from going through the window. It's going to keep you from going out the window. It's going to keep. If this rolled, I mean, just think. If I was not seatbelted, I'd be flying all over in here. It's going to keep me to my seat. So I, I just I, I urge you to be safe when you're out there. And even when you're in your own personal vehicle, be safe. Think about going home to your family every day. Getting there in one piece. So it, it takes a second to click it. It takes a second to, you know, to prevent, to take a preventive measure. measure. So, well, I'm not trying to preach, but I just wanted to, with this accident, that, you know, it, it's kind of, it's a scary thought. It's a scary thought. And the people out on the road driving, I mean, what are you thinking? It's okay to run a red light? No. Come on. Just take the extra minute. Look, there's a B. Go away. Go away. And I, I'd say that you're not supposed to panic when a B comes in, but I don't like them. I got stung by a whole nest full of them when I was a kid, and I just don't like them. 
just really want you to go out. Yeah, I'd really like that bee to go out. So the temperature's a little cooler. It's nice. I like it. I wore a sweater most of the day, but I got a little warm. I guess it's almost 60 degrees out and nice breeze going. But I am um, just about finished my route. I, I didn't take a lunch break earlier because today is my non-scheduled day, so I need to make sure I'm done within the eight hours. Um, it's kind of the rule of the trade. You don't work overtime on your overtime day. You don't go into penalty overtime. Um, it's frowned upon. So I am... Um, Today's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, yeah, you see my costume. I'm dressed as a mail carrier. Ha ha. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so be safe out there on the road. Whether you're driving a mail truck or whether you're driving your own personal vehicle. You know, whether you're driving whatever. Whatever you're driving. Motorcycle, scooter, bicycle. Be safe. Be safe. Take that extra minute, you know, that couple extra seconds to um, just take another look, you know, look left, look right, look left again. Just take that that second to look again. And um, you don't know what the other person's going to do, so know what you're going to do. You can only keep you safe. Nobody else. So most accidents are preventable. I know someone's going to come hit you, but, you know, if the light just turned, take a second. Make sure no one's coming through. Um, a, a second is, is not much time when you think about a, a life being saved. So, all right, well, I have said enough. I will come back and see you guys again. But um, until then, have a great Halloween. Be safe out there. Make sure um, you keep your kids safe and um, come back and see me again. Have a great day.